hello artists so we are jumping right back into our jazz instruments last week we learned about rhythm and we created the background and you have the option of shading if you wanted to we used some lines to show rhythm because line was the element that was repeating so that shows rhythm and then today we are going to draw an instrument so you can pick out what jazz instrument you want to do there's a playlist on the um, <clears throat> lesson homepage and you can pick out an instrument that you want to draw. I already drew this trumpet, so what I'm gonna do right now is add some color and then I'm gonna cut it out. If you have any tiny pieces that are really difficult to cut out like these two, and you wanna leave them in, that's fine. So now that I have cut out my instrument and I have my background from last time, and if you didn't do the background, be sure to check um, back to part one of this project. I should have said this earlier, but if you don't have um, any scissors, any glue, and you need to draw your instrument right on top of your background, maybe like a dark crayon or marker, that's fine too, you know? I know you guys at home don't have all the supplies we do in the classroom, and I want you just to use what you got. So, if you are cutting it out, we're gonna go ahead and glue it to our paper. So you can use a glue stick or a glue bottle. And you're just gonna put some glue onto the back of it. Remember not to use too much glue and also spread it so that the glue is not too thick in any areas. Sometimes you can use the tip of your glue bottle just to spread it out a little bit. So I'm not actually squeezing any glue out right now. I'm just kind of using the tip of the glue bottle to spread it around quickly. Okay, now I'm gonna glue it to my background and you could have it going straight. You could have it leaned a little bit. I'm gonna push mine right here because I'm gonna draw some designs coming out of the horn right here. Make sure if you use glue, you smooth it down so that it doesn't come up later as it dries. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna take my permanent marker. You can use a regular marker or a crayon or even a pencil, colored pencil, anything will work. And I'm gonna add some designs to my trumpet. You could do this with whatever instrument you have where I add some lines coming out. Maybe some music notes. Okay, and now our jazz instrument project is finished. Be sure to go to the next page to upload your assignment into the Flipgrid.